Hello guys and welcome to another profile tree video. So in today's video we're going to be taking a look at what is JavaScript used for in web development. So without further ado we're going to go ahead and get started. Now just before we get started I'm going to go ahead and explain what exactly JavaScript is all about. So JavaScript is a versatile programming language that plays a crucial role in web development. Now it's primarily used on the client side of web applications meaning it runs directly in the web user's browser. JavaScript also allows developers to create interactive and dynamic web pages, enhancing the user experience and enabling various functionalities that were pre previously only possible with server-side languages. Now, here is basically just a quick introduction on it anyway. Uh, I'm gonna be using W3Schools to demonstrate what JavaScript is all about. So we'll go ahead and just go through the introduction for now and we'll actually try out a JavaScript example. So we'll use this one. So we'll just check out the JavaScript examples here. And you can see the JavaScript can change HTML content. So we'll take a look at how it can do that. So if we click this, it's now changed the actual uh, JavaScript can change, uh, change HTML content to click me. Uh, now if we run this again, and we could actually change this about. So you can see that it is uh, JavaScript. It's collecting that ID called demo. Now, if I didn't have that ID, I didn't. I don't have to have this ID if I don't need it. You could see if I run that code, then it won't work. However, if I do an ID on what can JavaScript do? So ID equals Pack the this one a little bit, and then I'll do um, demo like that, and then I'll run it. Okay, so if I click this, what can JavaScript do? Hopefully, it will change it. So now it's now changed to hello JavaScript. Uh, if I did another ID, but I named this one ID two, and then well, let's see if I do ID equals. Um, so you can have like uh, different ID types and it will work. Uh, and then we'll do another demonstration. So JavaScript can change HTML attributes. We'll check that. So we can turn on the light. We can turn off the light. So you can see that these are actually two different images. This is not actually the same image technically. So I can have two different ones. So with this, as you can see, it is actually selecting the image and the source, which is this um, GIF. And then of course, to turn that on, that turns on my image. And then to turn it off, it sources this one again and then it turns off the image. So that's a pretty cool way to do it. That's what uh, I can do with that. And we'll check out another one. So JavaScript can change CSS style. So what can JavaScript do? JavaScript can change the style of a HTML element. So we'll click on that. You can see that it's changed the sizing of the element. So that's just with the font sizing. So if I change that to 55, you could see that it'll make a drastic change from 35 to 55. So that's that one. So that's to do with CSS. Now it, it, it will also do it with uh, colors. So it just depends. So JavaScript can hide HTML elements as well. So you can see that it's a uh, hidden dot. So document dot get element by ID demo uh, display none. So that'll just disappear. And of course, uh, it can show hidden HTML elements. And that's, that'll uh, require the message block. So quite a couple of things to use for JavaScript. So what can you, where can you actually insert it? So it says here we can insert it for the head. So it's changed the paragraph. We can change it for the body, uh, an external file, URL, the external folder. 
And of course we've got our output, so writing into the HTML output. So this is more or less what it looks like. Um, so if you run that, that's the output for this. And now uh, writing into the HTML element, that's more or less how it looks like for the element. And then of course there's a window alert box, so we can do that for this as well. Uh, so multiple things that you can do with JavaScript. So there are just some of the examples in terms of like the simple versions of it. Now we've got the JavaScript syntax as well. So statements, numbers, strings, variables, operators. Uh, but anyway, that is pretty much just an explanation or a quick explanation on the JavaScript uh, examples. But what we'll do now is we'll dig deeper and take a look at the client side interactivity, the dynamic content and event handling, browser compatibility, things like that. So we'll go ahead and jump into that now. Starting off with our first one, which is the client side interactivity. That's just basically uh, meaning JavaScript enables developers to create interactive elements on web pages, such as form validation, buttons, drop down menus, sliders, and pop up windows. And it allows for immediate feedback to users, enhancing the user experience and engagement. And just to explain that, so here we have our actual website. And if we scroll all the way or go to the contact us, uh, this is, of course, the form validation of some sort. And then you've got drop down menus as well. Uh, you've got buttons, which, of course, allows you to go from one point or another from each page. So this is more or less to do with the JavaScript, as you can see. So we've we went from the home page to services, from services to portfolio and to contact us. So that, that's what uh, creates that immediate transfer from one page to another. And our next one there is dynamic content. And that just basically means that JavaScript can dynamically modify and update the content of web pages without requiring a full page refresh. Uh, this dynamic update allows developers to create real time content such as news tickers, live scores, and social media feeds. Then of course that brings us to DOM manipulation. So JavaScript can interact with document mo uh, object model of a web page and that allows the developers to dynamically modify the structure, content and styles of HTML elements. This enables the creation of responsive and interactive web interfaces. So we'll do a couple of examples here. So here is one to try. So you can see that this has been changed. So with the new text, that's how that runs. And of course, if we run that and then we'll actually demonstrate it using the animation. So we'll see if we could try to do this. We'll try it for ourselves. So this is the animation. We should be able to run this. So we'll try it now. So if we click this, that goes from one point to another. You can see how it's going from top left to bottom right. And you can create like tickers, as I've uh, mentioned before, like news tickers or live scores and social media feeds, things like that. All, everything basically in real time. So even like a countdown, you can have that as well. Then our next one there is event handling. So JavaScript allows developers to attach event listeners to HTML elements, and then these event listeners can trigger actions based on user interactions, such as clicking a button, hovering over an element, or submitting a form. So I'll try to explain it in detail, but basically you will have a code that is called event handler. And these more or less would manage your buttons so I'll see if I could try to get the form up here. So this is pretty much it. So uh, this would be your event handler. So of course, if I click into this uh, text field, I can actually open up and check the event that's going on. So event queue, invoke, so that, that's basically running this. And then if I go back here and then check out 
the actual receipt. Let's see if we could display the receipt a little bit better. Open up the code for it. And then we'll bring it down to tax field 12. So again, event queue. Uh, if I did have a piece of code here, I could try to get it to say event handler. But basically, it's just trying to get one part to actually work. And as you can see with us, we've actually got like a, a sort of receipt system or a management tool to uh, control this. So we've got receipt, we've got our total. So from the total, you can see that there's some actions that have been performed. And these are all linked on top of each other. Uh, but yes, this is more or less what the dynamic content uh, will be or the uh, event handling as well. And our next part is the animation and visual effects. So in terms of that, JavaScript script can create animations and visual effects on the web pages and that enhances the user experience and adding a sense of interactivity. And that means animations can be used for elements like sliders, carousels or the parallax scrolling effects. And then I'll actually try to show you what the parallax uh, looks like. So you can see that this is the, um, basically how it works. It's basically trying to make it 3D. So your background is obviously staying still while the rest of your front is co uh, coming down. And then we could do it uh, parallax without. So you could see how this is staying still. And this is a, version of it not being able to move so the background is not being able to move you can see the background here is moving so that's just a couple of things that javascript can do which are these sort of animation or visual effects which is great then of course you've got browser compatibility and that just means that javascript helps achieve uh, cross-border compatibility as modern browsers support javascript and it allows developers to create web applications that work consistently across different browsers and devices. And lastly, what we have there is the web application, meaning we could use uh, frameworks like React, Angular, Vue.js. Uh, Vue uh, JavaScript is pretty much widely used for building complex web applications, and these frameworks provide the structure and tools to develop scalable and maintainable uh, single page applications. So this is more or less it. Uh, you've got a couple of stuff there for uh, JavaScript as demonstrated. Now it's not just React, of course, as I said, there's Angular, VUE.js, so, and then a couple of other ones, uh, other frameworks that you can use as well. So do explore, it's not just React. So there you guys have it. That pretty much reaches the video on what is JavaScript used for in web development. If you guys enjoyed the video, please do let us know in the comment section below. But other than that, I'll see you guys for the next video. Thank you very much for watching.